Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Ticket. In today's video, we have a great new update for a powerful Samsung application. So let's dive in and see what's going on and what is new. So the application I'm talking about is the Smart Things application that allows you to automate your house, control your smart devices, and with the latest update, even do a couple of extra things on top of that that is pretty cool. So first and foremost, to get the update, what you wanna do is you wanna click the link down below. Once you click the link, there's two things you have to update in relation to the SmartThings app. The first thing is the SmartThings framework. So you wanna click the link, it's gonna take you to the Galaxy Store, and you want to update the smart things framework by tapping this this is just going to enhance the framework for much better functionality and then once that is updated you want to go back to the website scroll down and simply update the smart things application if you have not done so already so click on this guy and in my case i did the update already so we are good to go now let me show you the new features uh, with this app and the smart things framework update everything's going to be much better so first i'm going to show you one thing if you go over to your devices this is where you're going to find all your rooms all your devices these are my samsung galaxy tags that i use to find my keys and if i scroll over that's going to be my office lights and the monitor in the office that i can control if i swipe over that's my main bedroom so one of the new features is you can see that we have a different wallpaper for each one of these uh, rooms or these areas in my house. Now what you can do is when you go to your settings, all right, tap on manage office, for example, when I'm under office, you can actually go to wallpaper and choose a wallpaper from the gallery, whatever you want, or take a photo if that's what you want. In the past, you had these options. You can select these by default if you want the existing wallpapers, but now you're able to go in and you are able to pick anything that you want right from here. So that is fantastic. Now, when we go back, I'm gonna show you one more thing. Uh, the other thing is when you go into the menu, at the bottom, you have this option that says offline diagnostics. So if any one of your products goes offline and you cannot find it, you can actually click here uh, it's going to check the devices that it thinks are offline, like this monitor. And from here, you can run a bunch of diagnostic tools uh, to activate that product that has gone offline so it can locate it, start it if it's malfunctioning or something like that. It's going to give you all the necessary instructions. You just tap next, next, next. And finally, whatever was offline is going to start working. Now, let me show you one more thing. If you want to go to a little bit more details here, go to menu and go to notices and you're going to see app update notice. And here's we have a list of everything that was actually updated by that latest June update and also the enhancements that came with the smart things framework that makes these features work even better. So we got this manage locations. We got offline device diagnostics. The one that I just talked about. You can read the description here. Pause the video. Read what it does. Then you also have search by manufacturer when you're adding a device to your Samsung smart things, smart home. And then we have the wallpapers and the snooze feature for the camera notifications and a couple more things you can read about. But let me show you one more thing. If I went into my devices and clicked on plus to add a new device, I can now search by manufacturer, which was not possible. So if I have a device by Wiz, I can just select uh, search directly by the brand, the manufacturer, and then from here I can link the account and control all those devices right here, which I'm doing already. A whole bunch of my lights uh, are from Philips Wiz, including these guys right here, okay? But those are a few updates that you can actually see, and of course with the Samsung uh, framework update, everything simply works even better. So it's a very important update grab it asap any questions comments or concerns drop them down below let me know for now guys have a fantastic day all right all right so if you found this video useful make sure to subscribe to Saki tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time i upload a new video
And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Socky Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.